All right, this video is a video in a series about different developmental theories and how they address or try to explain development in the first two years of life. Previously talked about Freud, Erickson, Bandura. Now, another big area for theory is cognitive theory. So psychoanalytic and behavioral and cognitive are often like the three grand theories in the study of human development. There are others out there, all right? They just, the, you know, these, these are, are big ones, big influential ones. And in cognitive theory, one idea that we get that's particularly uh, relevant is this idea of a working model or an internal working model. And a working model is like your expectations for how people are gonna act, how people are gonna treat you. It's a set of assumptions that the individual uses to organize perceptions and experiences. So your internal working model is what you expect from the world. Your assumptions about whether people are kind or unkind, you know, good or bad, helpful or unhelpful, uh, if they're gonna be rude to you, things like that. And the thing about this working model why, you know, why do we care about that when we look at development? We see that this working model, and it's shaped over time with experience, this working model shapes your interpretation of events. And we see that your interpretation of events is more influential on your development than the events themselves. So like when we do studies and we try to see, okay, if someone has experienced this type of event, how does it affect their development? We actually see that that's not the right question. It's not the event itself. It's the person's understanding and interpretation of the event. One event might be highly traumatic for one individual and much less so for another. And also one individual might interpret a situation as, as, as having you know negative unpleasant undertones where another one will see it as just fine um, also we can revisit experiences in our life sometimes something that wasn't a big deal when you were little you get older and you revisit it and you're like oh wait a minute there was there was more going on than I realized you know you might think about Christmas one year if you celebrate Christmas and the family was all together and you're like oh wait a minute I'm just realizing the reason that Uncle John was acting so funny is he was really drunk. And then you might start like thinking of other situations. Wow, he was drunk a lot. And I'm not insulting any specific Uncle John. That's just a made up person. And so and th this is one of those situations where at the time it was no big deal. But then you grow up and you reinterpret it. You start the, the that experience is going to affect you differently once you interpret it differently. And so new working models can be developed based on new experiences, all right, interactions with new people, new interpretations. You can have reinterpretation of previous experiences. And so this idea of the working model, it captures that it's not so much what happens to you, it's how you think about the experiences that you have that are important for development. Now this can make research more difficult but it's more realistic. It captures what's actually going on better. 